Can I apply while in Canada? Our program is designed for those living outside of Canada. However, if you are in Canada as a visitor only, you may still apply. In today's video, I share with you another very, very important Canada provincial nomination program that is strictly targeting people or applicants who are living outside of Canada. So if you are interested in immigrating to Canada and taking advantage of this provincial nominee program, you want to stick to the very end of this video because this is a very, very important um, PR program in Canada and you have to apply promptly when they open in January 2nd, 2024. You want to make sure that you watch this video to the very end so that you can have all the necessary preparation, all the necessary documents, all the necessary tests that are required for you to take advantage of this pilot immigration initiative. If you are seeing my face for the first time, Welcome, my name is Eva Mtali and on this channel we talk about legit relocation opportunities, we talk about how you can get jobs abroad and we also talk about different ways to get visas on your weak third world country passport and all this I show you how to do even without the help of an immigration agent. So um, once in a while we'll also see videos about my travel escapades to different parts of the world so if this content sounds exciting to you, you want to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and also do yourself a favor by hitting the notification bell. It is on the right hand side of the subscribe button. If you are my returning viewer, welcome again. It is always a pleasure to have you guys here watching the videos and just having your company. So guys, how we roll here, um, do say hello in the comments section below. Let me know where you are watching me from. So without much other ado, guys, we are looking at the Winkler Stanley Economic Development um, Partnership with Manitoba Immigration Initiative. So Winkler Stanley Economic Development, in short WSEDC, in partnership with um, Immigration Pathways, has agreed to a pilot immigration initiative to address the urgent short and long-term labor needs demonstrated by employers in the Winkler Stanley region of Manitoba province in Canada. So this program in 2024 and 2025 can take up to 150 applications per year. Let me pause there, guys. Um, I know some of you are gonna quickly run to the comment section and say, but they're only taking 150 applications. Guess what, guys? If you believe in limitations, please just step aside and allow those who believe in possibilities to do so without your distractions. Moving on swiftly. So, Candidates endorsed by the Winkler Stanley Economic Development Corporation who have a labor market um, attachment via the Winkler Stanley Economic Development Regional Labor Focus Report are not required to conduct an in person exploratory visit. Basically, that means if you are endorsed by this particular program initiative, you don't have to go to um, Winkler Stanley and um, do an exploratory visit because remember guys this program is strictly for those people who are outside of Canada but if you're in Canada you can only apply if you are on a visitor's visa which I think is a good thing yeah because for a very long time people have said oh um, we have these um, programs they say they want foreigners but they don't take them here is an opportunity for you guys and I shared a similar opportunity um, yesterday if you haven't checked that video you want to check it out so if an applicant qualifies and receives a community letter of endorsement, it should be understood that the endorsement letter is only that. And the Winkler Stanley Economic Development does not have any authority to approve an applicant. Decisions to invite an applicant to apply and possible nomination are determined completely by the province of Canada. But guys, Look at this. This is how it works. With Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program, 
you have to be um, endorsed by either a friend or a family member for you to be nominated by the province. So what this um, initiative is actually doing is noticing the fact that there are people who are qualified, they have the skills, they have the experience that is in demand in Manitoba, but they don't have family, they don't have friends there. So this initiative is taking that role so that you have somebody to recommend you. And the oh, fact that you're going to be recommended based on labor shortage needs as identified by the employers in Winkler Stanley, I think is a very, very huge plus for you. And I would encourage you guys to take advantage of it because you lose nothing. It's free to apply. So to qualify, applicants must meet the community selection criteria, which I'm going to share with you in a bit, and meet the adaptability and English requirements associated with the job demands in the region. So the first thing you're going to need is your language proficiency. You must do your IELTS and get a minimum COB of four. In terms of age, this program is open to applicants between the age of 21 and 45. So this does not mean if you're above 45, you cannot apply. Applicants over the age of 45 may be considered only if minimum uh, Manitoba Provincial Army Program required score of 60 points plus is met. So if you're able to still get the 60 points required by the MPNP, then you can still apply even if you're above the age of 45. In terms of work experience, very, very minimal. You just need two years of full-time work experience in the past five years in the declared intended occupation. So for example, if you want to move as a heavy duty mechanic, you must have two years work experience in the last five years. In terms of education, you need at least one year post-secondary education or training program leading to a diploma degree or a certificate. Guys, I keep talking about this all the time. If it is not on paper, it did not happen. So if you're not yet certified for a skill that you have, guys, please, there are so many online courses you can take adva advantage of. You can go to your village polytechnic, like the options are just endless. And then in terms of adaptability, you as the candidate, um, you must meet the community selection criteria. Um, basically, it's how labor market ready are you? And don't worry, guys, I'm going to put a link in the description box at the bottom of this video and also the first pinned comment that you can go and check if you meet all the eligibility criteria. And then settlement funds, um, you're required to meet 50% um, of the low, um, low income cutoff. So generally, um, you should have at minimum 10,000 um, plus 2,000 dollars for each a company family member this is in canadian dollars yes we're going to need ten thousand and then if let's say you have two accompanying members you're going to need ten thousand plus four thousand if you have one accompanying member ten thousand plus two thousand dollars that's why guys always say you must just be ready because you never know when these programs are going to open up so now how this process works um the link that i'm going to give you there that's what you're going to use. And what you have to do is just click. Let me even show it to you. One minute. So, guys, this is the website, wsedc.ca immigration. You can see the Winkler Stanley Economic Development Program. So this is the whole process you'll have to go through. But And then if you, just, if you have confirmed you're qualified, you just come here and click on Get Started. So generally... There's something I want to show you. You can see right here, they say the applications are opening on January 2nd, 2004. Okay? But under this frequently asked question, is there a deadline by which to apply? You can see here there is no stated deadline. However, the limited number of spots available each year does determine when the submission window closes for the year. So technically, what you need to do is um, use that link which I've just shown you guys, um, and then complete the pre-application form found on this website by selecting the Get Started button. It's at the bottom there. I'm going to show you in a bit. And then you can see here they say, in order to properly review interested applicants, the form will close from time to time until those have been processed continue to check back on the application status we will inform you when we have received our allotted applicants 
for the current year. So this is the button you come and press. It's at the very bottom. So you just come here and click on get started. And this is the landing page you will get to. Okay, immigration application. This is the landing page. Okay, and you can see they have said very clearly this is for direct applicants only. Okay, and you can see here application status closed for 2023. But if you come here on January 2nd, you will be able to apply. Due to limited space for 2023, we will remain closed for the remainder of the year and will reopen the online application portal on January 2, 2024. January 2, 2024, the application portal will be accepting 200 applicants. Guys, 200 applicants. So make sure you have everything that you need way in advance of January 2. After review, there should be space available in the program we will reopen the portal once again, April 1, 2024. So in case you miss the slot for January 2, 2024, please come back April 1. I know it's April Fool's Day, but guys, they've said they are going to be opening. Please note, as the WSEDC Pilot Manitoba Immigration Initiative has an allotment of 100 applications for 2023, because demand is high, the portal closes quickly. If you encounter this, please know that the program is still open for the year. Once the total of 100 has been met, you will see a notice that indicates the application portal is closed for the year. So exactly what you have seen here. So after January 2, 2024, once they have all the number of um, the 200 applicants they need, you'll come here and find it saying applications are closed for 2024. So in terms of who is chosen for the program, you can see here top applicants are those that meet the program's qualifications, have work experience that fits the labor needs of the region, and who have a connection to the area through family or friends, or who show a strong desire to stay here for the long term and then here is what is the labor forecast a survey completed yearly by our business community to determine labor demands within the winkler stanley region to get an idea of what occupations are in demand in the region please visit this website here you can see local job shop blah 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 and i had opened it here it's right here you can see so this is how you know which occupations are in demand in the area so that you know if you even stand a chance. So right here, jobs in Morden and Winkler, Manitoba. So you can see these are the kind of jobs currently available. That's how you know who is in demand. We have there the sweet living caregiver, um, admin assistant, donor chair, board member, server wash bay supervisor house and business cleaning front end blah 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 animal care technician server till cashiers full-time closing delivery music director bookkeeper cook food so just come to this website to give you an idea of the jobs that are in demand and there's like a whole like five pages of it just come and check and i think this should give you kind of like the kind of jobs that they have yeah so you can even come here and browse by category so you can see admin jobs 30 agriculture media education um finance healthcare of course is among the highest manufacturing is right there at 58 labor at 56 skilled test at 54 technology 9 transport 24 professionals 39 so there's a whole you can search by category you can search by i don't know how you want to do it it's really up to you that's the website local shops i'm going to leave all these links um, at the bottom in closing guys um you can see here can i apply while in canada our program is designed for those living outside of canada however if you are in canada 
as a visitor you can see it is capital letters only you may still apply so guys um i don't think it gets any clearer than that i wish you guys all the best you can see clearly this provincial nomination program is strictly targeting people from outside of canada or if you are in canada you must be there as a visitor so this is an opportunity for you to take advantage of because you just never know and as i said it is free to apply you have nothing to lose i wish you all the best um and see you guys january 2 i will definitely come to remind you that you need to submit your application happy holidays guys